Welcome Indie Warriors to I Dream of Indie Games. It's April 1st, but I promise you this isn't a prank. Nope, no April Fools here, except me. All of these games are real and they look really awesome. Here are 14 indie game releases hitting the market this week, the week of April 1st through the 5th. 2024. As always, we thank you so much for supporting independent content here at the channel. Be sure to head over to patreon.com slash games, and you'll gain Discord access to the greatest indie gaming community out there, early ad-free shows, shoutouts at the end of every single video we produce, and even free games depending on the tier you select. Your new indie gaming community is waiting for you. But before we get into all of those sweet indie game releases for this week, we do want to take just a quick moment to thank our wonderful indie sponsor, Dear Villagers. Released on March 12th of 2024, Passing By, A Tailwind Journey is available on the PC and Nintendo Switch right now. In a world within the sky broken up into islands, take control of the balloonist Curly, who desperately needs to deliver a very important letter. This beautiful 2D platformer also features puzzle elements across its various levels. The personalities that you meet along the way shall be as charming as the gameplay, with a story that hits players oh, right in the feels. The low poly art style looks beautiful, and your balloon ship not only looks awesome, but can be fully customized to meet your needs. Yes, the winds are changing, and indies are continually pushing the boundaries of fun and innovation with very unique concepts and gameplay elements. Passing by a Tailwind journey is no exception. And even better, you can play the game in portable mode via Steam Deck or Nintendo Switch. Heck, you could technically go up in your hot air balloon and start playing this game way up in the sky. Oh, the irony of that. So what are you waiting for, folks? Don't be a bag of wind. Use the link in our description box below and hop into Passing By, a Tailwind Journey today. Once again, a very huge special thank you to Dear Villagers for sponsoring this video. Be sure to use the links in our description box below to check out Passing By, a Tailwind Journey for yourself. But for now, it's on to the indies, folks. All right, we begin this week with Pixel Gun 3D PC Edition. And you guessed it, there are pixels and guns in this bad boy. Now that's a surprise, huh? This PvP multiplayer shooter features over 1,500 weapons to blast your friends or enemies with. There are also tons of ways to play online and plenty of customization options. Shooter fans shouldn't hesitate to pick this one up. Coming up next, no surprise here, it's a city builder. Hey, it wouldn't be a week of this show without a city builder or two on the list, right? Of Life and Land is the game we're talking about. It's coming to us from developer Kerzovin. This early access release, of course, has you managing, gathering resources, and most importantly, taking care of the animals and people of your world. Players will be able to create their own maps within an editor, and the game looks quite beautiful for this genre. I'm a sucker for a nice low poly look, but it's really the animals here that are so dang cute that make me want to check this one out. Moving right along, here's a release that I've really been looking forward to. It's called Mini Shoot Adventures. Yes, not the biggest release this week, maybe in name, but it looks like a whole lot of fun. This is kind of a combination of twin stick shooting meets exploration. There's bosses to take down. The combat looks pretty intense. I love dodging bullets and blasting away at foes. Looks like you'll be able to upgrade your ship the further you progress through this game, and there's lots of cool powers and abilities to learn, so I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, 
guess what? Yup, it's another base builder entering early access on the second as well. From Stratagem Blue, we're talking about from Glory to Goo. Ooh, gross name. There is a demo available for this one right now. Seems to be more of an alien theme. In fact, if you look over on the Steam page, there's a bunch of aliens swarming the bases. You can turn them into purple goop which is kind of fun. Build an army to fight off the alien hordes. Unlock more ships to protect yourself and build and gain factions along the way. I can ghouly wait. What? Well, never mind. Boy, they've really got a simulator for everything nowadays, don't they? Have you ever wanted to be a hacker, but you ain't got the skills? Well, here's your opportunity because Anonymous Hacker Simulator is launching on the 3rd. There is also a demo available for this one. I don't know, maybe this is a genius idea. You can do your trolling, whoever's a troll out there, in a safe, contained, digital environment. Nobody gets hurt this way. All right, I could get behind that. Uh, not for me, I don't think, but someone out there will enjoy this. However, they do disclose there is AI-generated content in this. We go from something dark and sinister to something cute and cozy with Pathless Woods launching into early access on the 3rd. I can't deny it does look adorable. Create buildings using beautiful Chinese architecture. Enjoy the game in co-op mode so you don't have to go it alone. And there's a survival element as well, a little bit of combat in this one. So maybe not so cozy if you're always under attack, right? Of course, farming available in this title as well. Get to it if it's your thing. I've never been much for gambling, and I especially don't want to get involved with the gambling that's going on in Buckshot Roulette. There's a shotgun, there's two players, and there's some dice. So you figure out what happens next. The game will take place over three rounds, lasting about 15 to 20 minutes. And even better, there's a double or nothing mode. How the hell does that work? I guess we'll find out here shortly on the 4th. Next, we're heading deep into the Wild West with Dead Rock Redemption, an adult RPG. This one ain't for the kids, obviously, and I can't show you all the details here, but the game will be fully voice acted, has an original story, and is open world as well. There is a relationship system, so you'll build relationships that way, and a lot of different quests that you can take on. This isn't exactly how I remember the West was won, but hey, this adult title will be released on the 4th. Roguelike gameplay meets it's rhythm game? That's what you can expect in Beat Slayer, a game that has a cool 90s aesthetic. Move to the rhythm with this pulse-pounding soundtrack as you beat your foes into oblivion. Learn a ton of different moves along the way. Get into a rhythm. This one would be perfect with headphones. Looks pretty fun to me. These clankers are sturdier than I thought. But I won't give up. I have to get better. Let's practice. Have you been dying to play a new Paperboy style game? It's been a long time, hasn't it? Well, Death Noodle Delivery is something like that, but with noodles instead of newspapers. You'll ride across a neon-soaked city on your hoverboard delivering noodles to all the locals. These roads are dangerous though as AI drones want to kill you along the way. Your board can be fully upgraded, there are secrets strewn about the city, but be careful, please don't drop the noodles.
old bases and destroy your foes as a mighty Viking in Sons of Valhalla, a game that's actually been in development for a long time and looks really great. It's a 2D side-scrolling base builder with a gorgeous pixel art style to it. We've actually had this game on the channel in the past and it was really enjoyable from everything that I've seen of it. A good amount of strategy here, real fun tactical combat, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Keep it locked to iDream of Indie Games for even more coverage. So tell me, what brings you to beautiful England? Where is Rhea? Who paid you for the kidnapping? Speak! The king will judge you for this. The fortress is well guarded. You will never make it there. Attack! You should have left England while you could. Now your death is certain! <laughs> Now we move on to a first person RPG with an intense looting system. We're talking about Monsters Domain from gdevs.com. Interesting, there's actually a playtest for this one going on that you can request access for, but you can look forward to the full game on April 5th. It's a pretty basic goal. You're simply trying to defend your base. You'll have a few monsters to begin with, but the more you play, the longer the session goes, the more powerful creatures you can summon. Looks like this game can get pretty intense and deep, so lots of combinations and experimentation here to be done. On to a Metroidvania title, a great looking one with a dark theme to it. Biomorph releases on the 5th from Lucid Dreams Studio. And definitely the art jumps out at me here. Quite beautiful to watch this one in motion. Doesn't look like just another Metroidvania either. As you defeat foes in this game, you can actually take on their form and this will help you to solve some of the different puzzles or gain some of their attacks as well to help you in combat. All told, Biomorph is shaping up to be really cool. Alright, thank you so much for making it to the end of another video. We appreciate you greatly. Let's ride on out of here with one more release for this week, BMX Streets, dropping on the 5th from MASH Games. Believe it or not, I did like biking back when I was younger. I was never very good on BMX bikes, but hey, I gave it the old college try. This one will have very realistic controls, they're claiming, along with some cool looking physics. Three friends can also join the action. There's a replay editor, real pro riders, day night cycles, and a huge open world to explore. And that's gonna do it for this week, folks. As always, we thank you so much for supporting independent content here at iDream of Indie Games. Patreon.com slash iDream of Indie Games to support this mission of bringing Indies visibility. And again, a huge special thank you to Dear Villagers for helping to make this type of content possible and sponsoring this video. Be sure to use the link in our description box below where you can check out Passing By A Tailwind Journey available right now on PC and Nintendo Switch. Voice to the Voiceless, I will talk to you all soon.